Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There's, there's, a, there's a song that says that Baba nimesikia habari zako kila mahali lakini leo nataka tu kukuona na macho. How many people want to see the Lord with their own eyes in their lives? How many people in the house? For sure? Amen. Kwa sababu baba nimekusikia, nimesikia taarifa zako kwa kina Elia, nikakusikia taarifa zako kwa kina Musa, nikasikia taarifa zako kwa kina Ezekiel, lakini leo nataka nifanye nini? Mungu baba, nimesikia habari zako. Leo hii baba, nataka nione kwa macho. Open the book of J. 
James. Just remain standing for the reading of the word, the book of James, chapter 2. James in Swahili ni Yakobo, sura ya pili. James chapter 2. James chapter 2. As you're still standing for the reading of the word, James chapter 2. Are you there? Uko pale. I can't hear you. Are you there? James chapter 2. Verse 17. Are you there? Verse 17, 3, go. So you see, faith by itself isn't enough. Unless it produces good deeds, it is dead and useless. Verse 18, now someone may argue, some people have faith, others have deeds. But I say, how can you show me your faith if you don't have good deeds? I will show you my faith by my good deeds. Verse 19, you say you have faith, for you believe that there is one God, good for you. Even the demons believe this, and they tremble in terror. Verse 23, go, how foolish can it you see that faith without action is dead and useless? Verse 21, don't you remember that our ancestor Abraham was shown to be good, to be right with God by his action when he offered his son Isaac on the altar? Verse 22, you see your faith and his action work together. His action made his faith complete. Verse 23, so it has happened just as the scripture says, Abraham believed God and God counted him a righteous because of his faith. He was even called the friend of God. Verse 24, so you see, we are shown to be right with God by what we do, by, not by faith alone. Verse 25, Rahab the prostitute, another example. She was shown to be right with God by her action when she hid those messengers and sent them safely away by different roads. Verse 26, just as the body is dead without breath, so also faith without work is dead. In Jesus' name. Have your seat. I want to talk to us today about the working faith. The working faith. Imani ambayo inafanya kazi. The working faith. The working faith. The working faith. Amen. The working faith. The working faith. The working faith. The working faith. Faith is the only virtue. Faith is the only virtue that can pull from the realm of the spirit that which you don't have, but you need it and make it yours. It's a spiritual virtue. Amen. It's a spiritual virtue. Praise and worship. God bless you for the good work you're doing. Amen. Faith is the ability to believe in God concerning what you are looking for before you see it in the physical. The ability to believe in God concerning what you are looking for before you see it with your physical eyes. Faith is the only currency used to purchase things in the kingdom of God. Imani ndiyo rasilimali ya kufanya biashara katika ufalme wa kiroho. Imani ndiyo pesa. Ndiyo pesa ya kununua vitu katika ufalme wa Mungu. That means with faith you can buy anything you desire in the kingdom of God. Faith brings to you that which was provided for prior by the grace. Faith brings to you what was provided for prior by the grace. Meaning, faith will only produce what grace has provided. Faith will only produce what grace has provided. 
imani itakupa tu vile vitu ambavyo neema imepeana imani itakupa tu vile vitu ambavyo neema imepeana maybe there are people who don't understand this faith is a currency imani ni kama pesa with money you can go to the supermarket to get anything you want but if whatever you are looking for is not on the shelves your money becomes irrelevant and useless let me repeat again with your money you enter the supermarket but if on the shelves of the supermarket has no or has nothing that you wanted to buy then your money becomes useless in other words with the money that you have you can only buy in a supermarket that which is already stored up for you on the shelves are you getting me uh -uh, i want you to get me very well are you getting me with the money in the supermarket you can only get what is stored up for you on the shelves and not what is not existing in the shop right are you there with your money in a hotel unless what you are looking for is cooked in that hotel even though you have money you can buy nothing in that hotel that means you can only have what you need in that hotel if it's provided for or if it's existing okay let me use this funny example there are hotels that cook um animal is that are they called legs or uh, or what kuna hotel ambazo zinapika miguu ya ngombe mnajua you know them right why shying off i've not said this a bad thing miguu ya ngombe ni mbaya is it a bad thing now how many people think unaweza pata miguu ya ngombe hilton hotel wangapo wanajua unaweza pata mguo wanadhani unaweza pata mguo ya ngombe kwa Hilton haipatikani si ndio ha huh? okay you know that in some community and some countries people eat snake right people eat snake right and if you get a chance to eat kindly eat it well don't worry you are safe your pastor has said you are what you will read and meditate on 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 4 and 5 and continue with the meal. Eh? Huh? 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 4 and after you have read that with your snake you can eat. How many people know of any hotel in Kenya that has got snake, snake meat or snake stew? Kenda kule kuna anaconda, kuna cobra wamepika. Wangapi wanajua any hotel in Kenya? Now Even though you have money you are hungry but when you enter the Kenyan's hotel and ask for flesh uh, for for snake beef or snake meat you cannot be sold reason being it is not available there is that true huh? there's something i want to help you to understand here there's a concept you have misunderstood for so many years that i want you to understand Are you getting me? Now. There's no hotel in Kenya and if there is, I see don't know which sells snake meat. Is that true? Now, if you go there with your money, be it from any currency, either is dollar, naira from Nigeria or rands from South Africa or kwacha from Zambia or shillings from Kenya or euros from Europe. If you go to those hotels with that money and they order snake meat they cannot serve you even though you have man you have money is that true Yeah listen to me faith does not work with stupidity faith works with intelligence because it understands how to function faith provides for you what grace oh, faith brings to you what grace has already provided for you 
in Christ Jesus. That means whatever Jesus has never provided, faith will never bring it to you even though you have much faith. Okay. As much as you have faith, if what you are looking for is not what Jesus provided for you, what grace provided for you, no matter how much faith you have, the one that can move mountain, you will not have access to what you need or what you desire. I know preacher man has told you that with faith, all things are possible. It's true, with faith, all things are possible. But the things that are in line with the scripture. Faith brings to you the past to the future. What do I mean by that? All that you needed to have today has already been provided by Christ Jesus in him. It is complete. That is why under grace we are no longer into the Lord will. You shall receive. You shall be healed. You shall have. That was the Old Testament gospel. The gospel of the new covenant, the new dispensation, the tenses changes. It is done. It is finished. It is provided. It is finished. Therefore, whatever you are looking for in Christ Jesus has been provided for already. Jesus is not in the business of creating new things. He has created them already. He is not in the business of doing new things. He has done them already. Now, everything you need. Now, Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. Philippians 4 19. Are you there? Philippians 4 19. Okay, let me read for you Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. It's a very common, popular verse that I know is one of our memory verses. And this same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs from his glorious riches which have been given to us in Christ Jesus. Not that they are going to be given to us. Listen to me. The provisions of the Lord are not going to be given to you. They have already been given to you. How? According to the riches of Christ. Kulingana na utajiri wa mungu ambao anao vitu vyote. Huyu mungu nae muamini. Atawapa vitu vyote mnavyo vitaji. Katika nani? Katika Kristo Yesu. Here. And this same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs from his glorious riches which have been given to us in Christ Jesus. Sikia, ya kamba huyu kriso atawapeni vitu vyote siya kamba vinenda kupeanwa ambapo vitu hivi visha peanwa already katika utajiri wa kriso yesu wa Filipi 4.19 ya kamba mungu huyu tae mabudu atawapa vitu vyote nyinyi katika kriso ambapo visha tolewa tayari now listen, all that you need they have already been given to you by Christ Jesus Christ in Christ Jesus Christ now let me ask you a question today is your blessing coming to you going to be given or has already been given the ble your blessing have already been done what? Your health, your supply, your healing, your prosperity, your security. I can't hear you. So you cannot say anytime you tell somebody under the new covenant that the Lord will bless you. You are doubting and cancelling the work that Christ did. God is not going to bless you. God has blessed you already in Christ Jesus. Uh, 
okay, 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 okay. Every child of God born again, the Lord has supplied all your needs. Where? In Christ Jesus, which was given before time. When Jesus died, he supplied everything you need. Your health was given. Your wealth was given. Your peace was given. Everything was given. Then why do we pray for sick people if it was already given? Have you ever asked yourself that question? If God healed us, is the Bible saying that God will heal you? Huh? Anybody who has ever seen a scripture saying that God will heal you? The Bible does not say God will heal you. The Bible says, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, you are done what? You are healed. The tenses changes. By the stripes of Jesus Christ, you are healed. Therefore, when someone is born again, you can feel unwell, but not sick. Just like you can be temporarily out of cash, but not poor. Uh -uh. Did you hear what I said? You can be financially inconvenient. But you are not poor. A believer cannot be poor. Then if you are poor, what did you receive when you got born again? Because the day you got born again, you are loosed. From the backbone of three things. One, the backbone of sin. Two, the backbone of poverty. Three, the backbone of sickness and diseases. I repeat that again. The day you got born again, you came out of the backbone of sin, backbone of poverty, and backbone of sickness and diseases. And you believed in salvation, and you are born again. But you do not believe in prosperity. You are poor. They all happened at once. The same power that delivered you from sin is the same power that delivered you from poverty. Therefore, the Bible has said that there's no faith that works where there's no work. Faith without work is dead. Just like a body without the spirit is dead. Faith without work is dead. Faith without work is dead. Faith without work is dead. Now, this faith must have work for it to be alive. But under the new dispensation, you are not the one to work. Someone by the name Jesus worked it out for you on your behalf. Therefore, as you believe, listen, listen to me, listen to me. How does faith come? The Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17, that now faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God, the voice of God, the voice of God. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing and by hearing. The more you hear the voice of God, the more you hear the word of God, the more faith increases, the more you receive faith, the more you hear. Right, right now, as you're hearing the word of God, faith is increasing, faith is entering. You are receiving faith. As you hear the word of God, you receive faith. Now listen to me. There is weak faith and the strong faith. The more you hear the word of God, the more faith increases. The more you practice that word you received, the more your faith becomes active and strong. If you don't practice that which you received, then you have faith that cannot work. You have a gun with a rubber bullet, cannot kill. Now, let me help you something here. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing and by hearing the gospel of Jesus Christ. Not every word in the scripture brings faith. But every word about Jesus brings faith. 
Did you hear what I said? Let me read Acts chapter 10 from verse 38. Acts 10, 38. Hallelujah. That means if someone preaches to you only about David, you are not receiving faith. If they preach to you about Jesus, you are increasing in faith. Mwani pata, matenda mitume kumi, kwanza 38. Bili asema, now you know that God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with the power. Then Jesus went around doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil. For God was with him. Verse 39. And we apostles are witness of all he did throughout Judea and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on the cross. Verse 40. But God raised him from the dead. On the third day, then God allowed him to appear, not to the general public, but to us, whom God had chosen in advance to be his witness. We were those who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. Verse 42. And he ordered us to preach everywhere and to testify that Jesus is the one appointed by God to be the judge of all the living and the dead. The Bible says, verse 43, He is the one all the prophets testified about, saying that everyone who believes in Him will have their sins forgiven through His name. Verse 44, Even as Peter was saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon them who were listening to the message. While Peter was still preaching, the Holy Spirit came and rested upon those people who were hearing. What was Peter speaking about? Peter was talking to them about Jesus who died, resurrected on the third day, seated in the heaven, who came and lived among them for a few days before he disappeared again. So every time you preach the gospel about Jesus Christ, the faith of believers increases. Now, it's the living faith you receive from hearing about Christ that produces miracles that are able to work in the life of a believer. Not any other preaching brings the faith to you. Faith comes by hearing, and by hearing the gospel about Jesus Christ. Is someone with me? Faith comes by hearing which gospel? Which gospel? Which gospel? The gospel of Moses? The gospel of Elijah? The gospel of John the Baptist? But the gospel of Jesus Christ. And when people received Christ on that day, They received faith at the same time. Anybody born again, you received faith. Now faith is that supernatural ability that enables you to receive from the Lord. It's a supernatural ability that causes you to receive from the Lord. Faith is that supernatural ability that gives you the way, the avenue, the means of receiving from the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 12, Verse 31. I'm going very fast. First Corinthians 12, 31. Are you there? Okay. First Corinthians chapter 12. Verse 31. The Bible says, So you should earnestly desire the most helpful gift. But now let me show you a way of life that is best of all. A way of life. That is best of all. A way of life that is best of all. Paul wants to show you a way of life that is best of all. And therefore, faith, when you receive faith, it produces three things or it gives you three gifts. Faith gives you three gifts. Faith gives you three gifts. Come on, Andika Chini. Write it well so that you can preach to me tomorrow. Amen. Faith brings to you three things. Are you there? Are you there? Okay. 
Faith brings to you number one, miracle. Number two, healing. And number three, faith. Faith is a gift as well. A gift means you don't deserve it. You have not worked for it, but you have received. So in faith, the Holy Spirit has given you three things. He has given you what? Miracle. Number two. Number three. I can't hear you. I want you to preach with me. That faith has given you three gifts. Gift number one, miracle. Gift number two, healing. Gift number three, faith. Now, there's a difference between being healed and receiving the gift of healing. Every child of God, can somebody come here? One person, just come here. One person. One person, just come here. Young man, come. Come. Thank you. Now, when Jesus died, he had him in his mind. And therefore, this young man, he received the gift of God, which is salvation. Salvation is a free gift of God, which you receive by the grace of God through what? Faith. He did nothing to deserve or to receive it, but he believed and he received it. So when he received that gift of life, he received everything that existed in Jesus Christ. Are you there? Now, when Jesus was being wounded, when they whipped Jesus, the Bible says in Isaiah 53, from verse 3, that they whipped him, they tortured him, he bore our iniquities, and that by the stripes of Jesus Christ, we were, what? Healed. Now, what happened is this, when Jesus was being crucified, he delivered his healing into his life. Therefore, he is walking with the healing in him. Wherever he go, healing is in him. Whatever he do, healing is in him. Can I preach to somebody here? Even on your hospital bed, healing is still here. Mm -mm. You're not getting me. You can be in a hotel and you're still dying of hunger. The hotel has food, but you are dying of hunger. The kitchen is busy, but you are dying. You have no food to eat. So this man, when Jesus died, he deposited healing in his body. So by whatever is happening, healing is still in him. He is in pain, bleeding. Healing is in him. When he realizes, that's what the Bible says in the book of Psalms 130, 119, verse 130. Psalms chapter 119, verse 130. The Bible says, the entrance of the word of God brings light and it brings understanding to the simple. What it means is this, that the entrance of the word of God, it brings enlightenment to the mind of a believer that his eyes are able to be opened up unto the revelation that is in Christ Jesus for him to be aware. Listen to me. The word Jesus Christ, the name Jesus Christ is not just an endorsement or a punctuation to be used after every statement of after every prayer. The word Jesus, the name Jesus does not just work with anybody simply because you have mentioned the name Jesus. The name Jesus understands the person calling it because it only works with the people with a revelation and understanding that I'm not only calling upon the name of Jesus, but in the name of Jesus means Jesus himself in present because the same power that was in Jesus is the same power in his name as his presence was powerful. Therefore his name was powerful. His name and himself self are one the name of Jesus and Jesus himself they are one you cannot separate them where his presence has not arrived his name has arrived where his name has arrived his presence has arrived and the Bible says in the presence of the Lord there is fullness of joy and it where the fullness of joy is, there is liberty. Where liberty is, there is the inner healing. Where the inner healing is, the physical body recovers. Now because the healing... My brother, I have not told you to go. You preach with me until I finish. God bless you. Now listen to me. Listen. Can you appreciate him? Can you appreciate him? Amen, 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 amen. Now listen to me. The healing of the Lord rests in him.
Therefore, whenever you are unwell and we pray for you or we give you medic medicine or medication, what happened is that the power of God which was delivered on the cross under grace, the healing that took place in Jesus for you, not now, it took place in Christ for your sake. Jesus was wounded. He became sick when they whipped him and his body became figureless. His body was disfigured. His look was disfigured. He could not recognize him. His body was bleeding everywhere. He delivered healing in him. Therefore, whenever we declare the healing of the Lord upon him, the healing that dwells in him causes his body to recover. It is the healing in him. Healing doesn't come from outside. It is the healing you carry that causes your body to recover and for you to walk in abundance of divine health. And I am therefore here to declare to you that if be in Christ, all things are passed away. All things have become new. You are a new creature. You are the redeemed. You are the healed. You are the delivered. You are the wall of the Lord. You have been made whole. You have been delivered. You are no longer sick. A believer can never be sick. You can be unwell temporarily. You can feel pain in the body. It doesn't mean you are sick. Because you are healing, you receive on Calvary. The pain and the unwellness does not equal the reality on the ground of what is existing. The fact that you don't have money in your pocket, it doesn't mean there's no money existing. There are people who have money. When you grasp the revelation that Jesus never died for nothing, he died for you, he died for your health, he died for your deliverance, you start walking in the meaning, in the revelation of the glory of Christ, in the revelation of the mysteries of the resurrected God, you start enjoying the divine manifestation of divine healing, because by faith, listen to me, we receive the gift of miracle, listen to me child of God, miracles are not there in the, were not just there in the Old Testament miracles are here today if you have never seen a miracle I'm here to declare to somebody and to preach to you. I don't know who I am talking to tonight uh, because I'm very careful to deliver to you the right thing uh, because I don't know who you are tomorrow. I'm here to declare to you, child of God, uh, if you have never seen a miracle, yourself you are a miracle. You are a walking miracle. You are a living miracle. You are a seated miracle. You are a surviving miracle. You are a miracle. That's why the Bible says you have gone through so much you have not been destroyed. You have been crushed and bruised. You have been persecuted. You have not been destroyed. You have been unwell. You never died. People promise you things and they fail you. You are not consumed by fire. You went through the shadows of death. You are not dead yet. You have lacked things in your life. You are not destroyed. Am I talking to somebody? You may not have what everybody else has, but you are still surviving. You don't have money like other people. There are people with money and today they are dead. There are people with money but they are not surviving. There are people with good houses they cannot sleep. There are people with good cars they can't even drive themselves. There are people with big bank accounts. They are not enjoying what they have. You are a miracle in the living. You can wake up in the morning and praise the Lord. You can shout to Jesus and say, Jesus, I love you because you are a miracle. You may not have what others have but at least you have Jesus. You are not concerned. It's a matter of time because when you have faith, you have the power of miracle. You have the ability to walk in the supernatural. A miracle means a supernatural happening in the reality. Listen to me. A miracle means the life of Christ taking place in the humanity. A miracle means what is in heaven happening on earth. Because I told you, the things we call miracles, they are no longer miracle to God. The things you see as miracles, this is the, the, the lifestyle of what is happening in heaven. In heaven there's life. In heaven there's abundance. In heaven there's provision. In heaven there's, there's prosperity. So prosperity is dwells there. Therefore when it happens to you, you think it's a miracle. When God looks at it, he says, this is my lifestyle. That is why Jesus said that thy kingdom come as it is in heaven. So shall it be on earth. I'm here to declare to you that miracles are the life of Christ happening to humanity. 
eternity. Every child of God born again, the life of the heaven is dwelling in you because the kingdom of God is in your life. The kingdom of God is within you. Therefore, your life is a miracle. Your walking is a miracle. Your eating is a miracle. Your breathing is a miracle. There are people today, they can't take water. They have plumbed pipes in their system. There are people that their system cannot cleanse blood. They have to plumb some tubes so that they can wash blood in the name of, of what? Dialysis. There are people who cannot eat. They are being fed using tubes. There are people who cannot breathe. They are having mass like people going to the moon for them to survive. You are here seated, uh, resting in Christ, comfortable, breathing without struggle. Blood is circulating without struggle. You can go and cleanse your, your kidney in the toilet without clamping anything into your system. You are a miracle in the living. And listen to me, Jehovah God. He did it. He can see do it again. The Bible says he is yesterday, today, and forever. The same God who performed this miracle, who has done it for you, he can see do it again. You woke up in the morning, at night you are dead. If I tell you today that somebody walked in your room when you are asleep, you will wonder. If I tell you that there was somebody who was dancing while you are sleeping, you will be shocked. Is it true? What happened? You were dead asleep. You don't know what was happening. You are like a dead person. But in the morning, you experience the power of resurrection. Even though you look like you are dead. But when it came in the morning, you say, I am a child of God. I might be asleep, but I am not dead. I might be down. I have not reached my end. I might have not have it everything, but I'm not despised. You came out and said, hey, I am alive. And you started walking majestically. How your leg walks, you don't know. How it is working, you don't know. How you are breathing, you don't understand. You are a miracle. For every child of God born again, we are no longer pursuing or chasing miracles. But miracles are following you. I'm here to declare in the name of Jesus that miracles is becoming your lifestyle. You shall wake up as normal. The grace has provided for you. They will look at you and say, this young man is not qualified to have the car he's having. You will look at them and and say hey it is not just a miracle but the grace has provided for me therefore faith is bringing to me you will look at someone and say this young man he is not educated how comes he's doing these things you will look at people like Paul the apostle like Peter and declare we know we are not born we are not educated but we know one person who is more educated than we are greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Therefore, you walk in the abundance manifestation of power. I love this church. I'm proud of this church. I brag about this church because Jesus is the center and this is the headquarter of God. This is the headquarter of God. You don't understand. I've met friends and pastors every day. If you go to my phone, I thank God someone taught me what to do on my WhatsApp. You sleep in the morning when you wake up. More than 20 WhatsApp, you have been added to a funeral program of people you don't know. And they don't tell you why they have added you. Listen to me. We don't bury people here. The person you buried was the last one. You live long. You will live long because you, are li you live a life of miracle. So faith brings to you the gift of miracle. Now the gift of miracle, that doesn't mean you just see miracle. No, it means yourself, you become a miracle. You live miraculously. You survive miraculously. And whoever associates with you, do you know what? Anybody who comes closer to you, they must live changed. Hatakama ataki, by default, Amen. Amen. 
The Bible says that when the Ark of the Covenant stayed in the house of Obed, Edom. Listen to that name. Obed, Edom. The Bible says that they, the man prospered. That is the Ark of the Covenant. Today the Ark of the Covenant is in you. There's no reason for you to fail. Listen to me as your pastor. From this moment, it's illegal, illegal, unaccepted for you to fail in life. I say it again. Illegal, unaccepted for you to fail in life. When you have a career of life. Jesus said, the words I speak to you are life and spirit. The gift of faith brings to you miracle. Number two, it brings to you healing. And number three, it brings to you faith. Are you there? Now listen to this. Faith causes you to believe by giving the assurance that whatever God promised, He has already supplied and they are yet to manifest. Whatever God promised you is yet to do what? To manifest. What is the work of these gifts? The gift of miracle, the gift of healing, and the gift of faith. They all have their functions in your life. You want to you know about them? Now, the gift of miracle is for you to work. Did you hear what I said? The gift of miracle is for you to do what? In other words, who is supposed to perform miracle? God or you? I can't hear you well. Who is supposed to perform miracle? God or you? Say like you mean it now. Who is supposed to perform, perform miracle? You or God? Shout me. Say I am a performer of miracle. From today, I want to pray for you. That as you go home, you start meeting people with problems. Amen. And for every problem you don't, sh you don't solve, it's contagious. From today as you leave this place, you start meeting people with problems. Are you there? Now, for every problem you see, count it an opportunity. Thank God, Father, I thank you. I've seen it. Go lay your hand on them and pray. Come back. Don't wait to see if it happens or not. You pray, come back. Because the, normally the problem is, what if I pray and nothing happens? Is that your problem? Who works miracle? Huh? Mama Grace. Apo barabarani. Iyo kitabu umalize church road kuanzia barabarani. Mpaka kwa kona peace ye kule. I want to see people calling you pastor even before, before anybody knows. Anza kutafuta shida. Let me tell you. The people who are ruling on earth today. They are problem solvers. If you are a carpenter. Na wezi tangineza hata kitimoto. Who will come to you na kazi? You must know how to solve a problem. You must solve my problem of sitting on the stone. So that you, you say, from today, born first, you're not going to sit on the stone. I'll make a chair for you. You have solved my problem. I pay you. Why do you want to receive for free? You must solve people's problem. If you have a shop, sell to me. As you sell to me, you're solving my problem. I'm paying you. Uh -uh. Are you there? That's why I'm praying, I'm preaching like I'm busting. Even when I'll be preaching to 10 million people, I'll still be preaching the same. Because they are coming. After all, you don't have to believe. By the way, you don't have to believe and say amen to that. It's me believing. Is it your problem? I'm the one believing that. I'm not waiting for you to endorse it. The Lord has already done it. You know the problem is that you want people to be in agreement with you. When God says go, Please don't call for a conference. Don't call people. I told you happened you're going to go to Shida. Munga na kuambia enda kinyata enda 
City Mochari ufufue watu wawili. Alafu naambia watu wao toma Mungu ameniambia twende kinya twende City Mochari tufue watu. Now the first thing Otoma will do he will try to sabotage my faith. Ataniambia pastor are you sure Mungu ndiye alikuambia already is creating doubt in me. In reality nani ameambiwa ni mimi mama ni yeye. So go don't listen to everybody especially when the spirit of God has spoken. When the spirit speaks quietly go so that if it doesn't happen you are not going to feel embarrassed. Amen. Niwaambia nimeanza pole pole peke yangu tu. Siti mocha unaenda pale unaambia hey bro fungua nataka kuna kitu nataka kufanya hapa ndani. Sema mgonjo mwili wako namba ngapi? Sema don't worry about the body. I just want to do something here. Mwambi ah uh, 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 open. Nini ba shida njaa? Shikaenda kule chakula na ufungulie mlango. Kifungua unaangalia unahakisha una, kuna mtu anakusikiza. In the name of Jesus you people sleeping here. Of your own, I command you in the name of Jesus wake up. I said wake up. Wake up toka uende. Kesho tena rudi siku nyingine tena rudi. One day as you keep on trying you know I, I talk these things and you guys you think I'm joking. One day one day William one day simu yako tutashinda kukupata. Ana mtafuta nani William? Yule anafuanga watu. Ako airport siju kumejaa hata ameshindwa hata kufikiwa. Because let me tell you, the Bible has said as told us in the first service that in the book of Proverbs chapter 18:16 wale walikuwa kwa ibada ya kwanza that the gift of God in you will do what? Will open doors. And what will you do? It will cause you to eat with the kings. Bona mnaogopa watu ambao wamekufa. Who is to perform miracles? It's you. Not Jesus. It's you. But in whose authority? Jesus authority. Ni kama sasa hizo naniambia na ngo Yesu. Yesu alisema yeye ndio mkate wa uzima. He shall supply all our needs. Kwa hivyo unanua unga unaweka hapo. Sema Yesu kuja upike ugali. You will die. You will not come. It's you to cook. Isi kazi ya pasta. Nasema pasta wewe uanze kwanza. Eh hey, ngoje. Yeah. I'm teaching you to do that. Do you have do you have children who are crazy and radical in faith? Ah? Am I talking to myself? Do you have people who are radical in faith? Auogopi nikwambia leo twende mocha ruta toroka na pia akiamuka usiende mbio. Because nasema usimame hapo. Umfungue. <laughs> yes aliambia aliambia watu. Aliambia Lazaro. Lazaro kuja. Wakati Lazaro alitoka akitembea if you watch the movie the same people who are standing with Jesus warudi nyuma yake wanaoni mambo mengine ya ajabu even today I saw kuna mtoto alikuwa anatengeneza vitu zake na magnet akaweka chini ya stool sasa hizi vitu vilikuwa alikuwa anajaribu kujifunza kutengeneza kitu kama alam so ilikuwa ikifika mahali hiyo magnet inaanza kugonga stool kuk 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 inamwamsha so tukakuwa na matanga na because watu walikuwa busy alisahau kwenda kutoa sasa hiyo stool ikakuja ikawekwa hapa wakaweka na wengine wakaekelea mwili wa maiti because kulikuwa na matanga sasa kwa ghafla hiyo time hiyo kijana kuamsha na akaweka kitu kakagonga wakasikia kitu kinafanya kuk 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 ilikuwa inagonga chini ya stool wote kasema umesikia hiyo sauti imetokea wapi wakaambiwa penye mfu yupo sema ah umesikia kweli sasa kidogo akiwa anaongea sikia kuk 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 basta akaambia mdogo wake nataka kupiga simu na kuja watu wakaenda kusema kwa fence huu mwili una maajabu lazima wenye walimuua wako hapa karibu only kuja kujua baadaye it was just a magnet and some things that watu walikuwa wamepanga ilikuwa inafanyika hapa chini so listen to me miracles is a gift given to you which is a product of faith that you are supposed to perform miracles so miracles is for you to do is for miracle is about working what about faith faith is about receiving faith is about what 
faith is about receiving miracle is about working faith is about receiving miracle is about working faith is about receiving miracle is about working faith is about receiving now i want to help you understand something here who is supposed to see your faith are you supposed to see your faith are you supposed to see your own faith huh now listen to this the bible says in the book of john chapter 3 that as moses lifted up the bronze serpent in the wilderness so is the son of man lifted that when you look at him you shall be healed as you look at who you shall be healed who is him now this is how faith works when you look at jesus god sees your faith uh -uh. okay these guys seem to be understand what i'm talking about Unapo mtazama Yesu Mungu anaona imani yako Therefore he performs miracle Your faith is noticed by God when you put your focus on who Jesus not on looking on your situation Don't look at your situation Don't look at the pressing need don't look at whatever is weighing you down. You look at Jesus. God will see your faith and he will move your mountain. When you, every time you look at Jesus, God sees your faith. Every time you look at your situation, the devil notices you. When you look at what you're going through, you remain grounded. Did you know that even stones was in a way ampakas naisha? Did you know that even plants kuna wakati mti unatoa majani yote tena unaanza kutoa mengine upya? You are a human being and I told you sometimes back here when you see yourself going through some issues it's been it means you are natural you are a human being but learn to move your eyes from your situation the more peter looked at the water the more he started sinking but when his eyes was on jesus he walked on water when you look at jesus you will walk on top of whatever has been bringing you down but when you look at your situation your situation will bring you down the more you focus on Jesus, the smaller your issue will appear. And the smaller it appears, the faster it disappears. You can point your TV, you need to know it. The more you look at Jesus, the smaller your issue appears. And the smaller it appears, the faster it disappears. The more you look at your situation, the more you sink. But the more you look unto Jesus, the more you walk over your situation therefore miracles are for you to work but faith is for you to receive the gift of healing is for both exercising and receiving the gift of healing is for you to both work and receive how do you work you practice the word and believe in what Jesus has done. Are you there? I want to finish with this because I've received so many questions concerning this area. Someone asked me, Pastor, I've been praying for so many years. I'm not getting an answer, my result. What's the problem? Has anyone ever asked himself that question too? Have you asked yourself that question? Have you been to a place where you are feeling like, how come I'm not receiving an answer immediately as it's supposed to be? Have you? The only thing you have received 
is a measure of your maturity where you have not matured up to you won't receive it whatever you have received is a measure of maturity and where maturity is lacking like today for example how many people are in agreement with me wanakubaliana na mimi leo hii kuna mtu hapa nikimpatia 10 million saa hii saa hii by next sunday tutamkosa kanisani sio kweli ah and you know one thing you need to know is this god loves you so much that he can never desire to give you anything that will destroy you he better deny you money so that he can keep on seeing you in the church kuna watu wakipata pesa leo pasa tuko pamoja na tuko pamoja maana mimi nikiwa hapa nahubiri na wewe uko kule unakula nyama choma how how together are we ati pasa unajua tuko hapa pamoja kimwili lakini kiroto pamoja a lie i was here praying and you are swimming we were not together unaenda kuniambia roho na mwili zinatembea pamoja tofauti si penye roho yangu inaenda ndio penye mwili wangu upo a a mali moyo wangu huko mwili wangu pia uko pale si ndio sasa hii lugha mtu kuambia tuko pamoja ni uongo amko pamoja mwingine anaiba na huko huko kwa magoti unaomba anasema ndugu unajua uh, siku kuja lakini tulikuwa pamoja kiroho how ni hebu muulize tulikuwa pamoja kiroho what was i doing hajui then how together were we mali roho yako iko na mwili wako the same na ndipo sasa Yesu akasema penye hazina ya mtu ipo hapo ndipo roho yake ipo kwa hivyo kama roho yake iko hapo moyo mwili wake pia utaenda mahali pale mahali moyo wako huko ndio mahali mwili unaamkia kwenda leo wale watu wako hapa kanisani wote is because when, before you slept yesterday your heart was in the church so you woke up in the morning to come pick your body to, with your, to bring your body to pick up your heart back home are getting me You are here because your sleep spirit slept here that's why you are eager thinking about going to church thinking like what am i going to dress where am i going to sit what am i going to in the English notebook ya kuandika notes so your spirit slept here your body came for it here so hii term ya kwamba ati tuko pamoja ni uongo mwaambie acha uongo ambie mwenzako acha uongo amen hallelujah Now listen to this many people have asked me this question but there's something they are forgetting that God for those people who have wangapo mai pita pale nowadays wamejenga ukuta before then pale langata barracks kulikuwa na waya sengenge nana mai pita pale saa 12 makurutu wako kwa ground wanatembea na, na magoti wakifanya mazoezi wale makurutu wa, wa military pale mai waona they are taken through a very tough process before hata wanze kushika bunduki so whenever you see you are self delaying to receive certain things there are two questions to answer your question number one, what have i believed wrong that's what you ask yourself ukiona jibu linachelewa jiulize ni nini nimeamini vibaya that's number one question you need to ask yourself what have i believed wrong eh number two. Which area of my life have and die matured? Is marrying wrong? Eh? Is marrying wrong? I'm not answering now. Is mad kuoa ni mbaya? Is in the Bible. So is it wrong? Eh? So mnajua kijana wangu my son. How many of you leo hii wakipata na advocate kijana wangu namwambia aende tafuta msiana wowe how many will agree with me on that huh? why huh? i'm not i'm not hearing you why pasa berita leo hii kiona naambia baraka enda wowe what will you tell me you would never pastor stop it the boy is still young si ndio Huh? Why are you forcing Jesus to give you things you are not matured for? So 
So every day in your prayer, your prayer are full of requests and lacking praises and thanksgiving. Faith means giving thanks to God for what you do not have before you have it. That is faith and that's maturity. Now, I want to give you a solution. We discovered this solution with my wife and it has been working for us. I want to give you a solution on how effectively your faith is going to work. Anyone ready for that? You are ready for that? Now, for your body to function well, you need three things. Number one, you need three things. Number one, eat well. Do what? Ukitaka mwili wako uwe mzuri. Na sura yake sikae kama imekanyagwa na tractor. Fanya namna gani? Kula vizuri. There are people who are old. Na si uzee ni kutokula vizuri. Kula nini? Eating well means what? Carbohydrates, vitamins and what? Proteins. Anakula ugali na uji. They are both pro they are both carbohydrates. So what do you do? Eat well. Wacha kulisha mwili mboga peke yake in the name of una save, una save. Inte sense na kuwa green. Ukipita kwa mtu anashindwa kwani mbuzi ndiye alipita ama because unajua mbuzi anakula mimea. That's why yeye hunuka hivyo. You smell what you eat, my friend. <laughs> Is it not true? You smell what you eat, right? Eh uh eh. -huh. Eat well. Umeokoka, have faith. He who has given you will still give it to you. Acha kujinyima hapa at mimi nyama nakulanga once in a month unajitetea, unatudanganya, unasema kwamba I'm avoiding arthritis. You are avoiding, you are mean. Na hata kuna wanaume hapa wanuliangi wake zao nyama anapima mwenye ndio akuja na kakuota kakuoteka moja alafu ananua sukuma mingi wanajaza ndani nyama inapotelea huko inabatizwa na mboga sasa unatafuta sukuma ndio upate hii tabia umeokoka i love congolese i've associated with congolese sometimes mkongolese hajiwangi kunua nyama kuota ama nusu akiona unakata nyama kuota na kuweza kwa anaenda kutega panya Afadhali anunue nyama kilo akule ibaki atakula tena lakini sio kuota. You have a Congolese here. Kuna mkongolese hapa ambaye anaweza kuwa anajua what I'm talking about. Ni ukweli. Nasema ukweli. Ukweli wanawangi nyama kidogo, wananunua mingi. Kisa sasa wewe uchoyo na sio kwamba una pesa. Pesa unahesabia kwa mfuko. Vidole zinajua zina macho. Ukiingiza hivi kidole inajua hiyo ni 50 ama hiyo ni ama hiyo ni Mami kama mzee wako anakujanga hapa ni mtoto wangu ni you are our members na mzee wako kila siku ni sukuma from Monday to Friday come see me after this i must summon him hii tabia uchoya niambia ametoa wapi Alafu najua anajitetea namna gani you know vegetable is healthy nonsense wewe oh, uliona wapi Mungu akikula mboga uliza Kain alijaribu kupikia Mungu sukuma wiki what happened eh huh? Kaina alipatia Mungu sukuma. What happened? Mungu anapenda mboga. Na huu muombo kwa mfano na kwa sura ya nani? Mungu anapenda mboga. Anapenda nini? Yes, this is the Bible. God loves meat. Na kama mimi nimeumba kwa sura na kwa mfano wa Mungu. Kwa hivyo napenda chenye Mungu anapenda. Mungu anapenda nyama hata kuna siku moja Elia akachukua nyama akaweka hapo nyama mzuri imenona alafu akaamua kumwaga maji. Alimwagi mnakumbuka hiyo story Mungu alipoona ni nyama na imemwagwa maji nasema Elia wewe unijui nyama alikuja mwenyewe na moto akalamba maji na akachoma akakausha nyama ikabaki jivu Is it not the bible ama mimi ndio naelewa vibaya That's how God loves meat Wewe unapikia mke wako sukuma mpaka mene imeanza kuwa green na si ya kwamba apiki mswaki ni sukuma every day mpaka ukichelewa kupita kwa yule mtu akakata na kuuza kwanza siku hizi unakula mboga wapi because amekuzoea kukukatia mboga hiyo tabia chwara utaacha kula vizuri mpaka ukitembea umeokoka unajua watu 
at mimi unajua napenda kufunga ndio sababu sina kitambi kuna vitambi vingine ni baraka unaingia mahali hata nakuheshimu because vile unakaa na kuna ile kitambi ya shida nyasi kikutega unaanguka same hiyo it well men hello men who are here people will know how you treat your wife by this how, how you love yourself by how you treat your wife how is your wife looking mboga is healthy hata nyama inaitwa mboga kwa hivyo make it mboga hata nyama iko na arthritis au masaa wamezaliwa kwa nyama na maziwa every day and they're still walking they're not dying nikija kwako usiniweke hiyo mboga tafadhali pastor charles unajua sasa next year tutaanza kutembelea our members okay na siwezi enda peke yangu nani mwingine anataka kutembea na mimi and you must make sure you have a good appetite i don't want to work with the people who are going to disappoint me tukitembea tukitembea kule nje tukitembelea our members so my members tafadhali hata kama ni kidogo lakini ikue nyama okay so eat well hata bibili naongea kwa inaongea kuhusu maziwa na nyama hakuna mahali naongea kuhusu mboga mahali ukisikia naongea majani Ina, inasema majani ya mti itakuwa ni dawa kwa wanangu unaelewa eh after you have eaten well exercise well jambo la kwanza kula alafu fanya nini fanya mazoezi acha kulala wangapi hapa leo hii mafuriko ya nui kitokezea kitambufike kwa safina unajua kuogelea wangapi hapa leo ile maji mingi umeingia ni ya bafu ya besheni if you are staying in rongai we have so many swimming pools around let me tell you it's healthy by the way it's healthy au gerin de posa mwingine akienda akiona pasa na ogelea pasa na ogelea yes i swim from bomas to kiserian huku na huku we have almost more than 10 swimming pool identify one go there at your free time ogelea kama unaogopa maji tafuta pesa uende kwa ile swimming pool yenye warm kama ya Hilton yuko warm lakini kama una pesa hizo baridi tu ingia ndani na uogelee you joy you joy simply because uji kuogelea uweze peleka watoto tunajua maji maji na kuanga mbaya sana unajua kwetu kuna mtu ambaye kufa maji hii tabia hii tabia hii tabia tunatoa wapi exercise well fanya mazoezi tembea vizuri you know why walk with this watch hii saa inanisaidia kujua how many steps nimetembea baadaye must make sure at least eight steps unakaa healthy kuna wengine hata kigonjeka tu kidogo kupumua ni shida mpaka umwekee oxygen why mzito hata haizi pumua haizi kujibeba mwenyewe akaa kwa kitu hata wakati wa kuona news before afikie news za habari, za habari za michezo ameanza kulala si usingizi ni uchovu wa uvivu kama inua mikono kuomba anainua mkono hivi before mwa, baba kwa jina la merudi hivi ni uchovu because your eating habit is bad you are not exercising ambia mwanza kufanya mazoezi i want to see people who are doing mazoezi because hapa otoma siku nyingine nataka kufanyisha mazoezi hapa kwa kudance turukishe alafu mimi nitakuwa pale nyuma na nitakuwa naangalia mwenye achezi tutamleta achezee hapa mbele is that okay because we must do mazoezi mazoezi mengine magonjwa ikikuja kwa sababu fanye mazoezi hiyo hata ukiomba Mungu anakuangalia na huu ujinga wako ni mwingi sana nitakusaidiaje fanya mazoezi number 3 rest well rest what lala pumzika vizuri ukishafanya kila kitu endo fanye nini upumzike what does that mean Number one, eat well means feed your spirit with the word of God. I'm finishing now. Feed your spirit with the word of God. Na the word of God ukikula kula injili mbaya mbaya, hiyo ndio inaitwa kukula sukuma wiki kila siku. Eh? Mnasikia? If you feed your spirit with the wrong things, you are eating poison. Ndiposo naambiwa kuna kitu kimepandwa kwa shamba yenu mahali fulani enda uchimbe you are eating wrong gospel but when you feed the gospel of Jesus Christ wewe unakula nyama nyefunyefu unakula mzuri 
Feed the gospel. Feed your, your spirit with the gospel. Kula nyama. Neno la mungu. Number two. Exercise well. What is, do I mean by exercise well? Exercise or practice faith. What you have heard. Practice. Whatever you have heard. Do what? Practice. How do you practice? You practice what the word says. You speak what the word says. You do what the word says. You are, you are exercising. Unafanya mazoizi le neno ambalo umepokea. Nono ili umekulikisema kwamba kwa matipika yesu umepona. Acha kulala muka na wanza kutembea. Because imesema umepona. Wacha ni wambio mfano. Wacha ni wambio kitu. Your words have power and life. Maneno ya kinyo chako ya nanguvu na uzima. Na unataka ufanya hivi ili jaribio. Enda uchukue maharagwe mawili. Na uchukue mikebe miwili. Wende upande ndani maharagwe. Mwana nipata? Mbegu mbili. Kisha badai uzipatia njina. Kwa hiyo mikebe miwili. Moja andika mbaya. Ingina andika mzuri. Kila siku kija kuhu mkebe ambao na mbegu mbaya. Mbegu meandika mbaya. Unawambia wewe maragwe ni mbaya. Sura mbaya. Ukufe usikaya hapo. Alafu hilo meandika sura nzuri. Kwa hiyo mbaya. Wewe ni mzuri. Lazima uendile kukua. Lazima uzai. Na ufanya hivyo kila siku for one week. I want to guarantee you after one week utapata ile maharagwe yenye ulikuwa unawaambia wewe ni mbaya imenyauka lakini ile maharagwe ambayo ulikuwa unaambia wewe ni mzuri imekaa kama mimea inaweza ikasikia sauti ya kinywa chako what about your condition which understands that you have got the power and the ability everything that has got a name it is able to submit under the authority of the name we have been given above every other name the name of Jesus Christ they listen and they obey they listen and obey. That's why there's no problem without a name. They have a name so that you can call a superior name to silence the activity of these fake names. Hallelujah. Speak it even though you don't see what is happening. Exercise that word. Look at these two people. Let me say, who you tumpatia jinagani? Who you tumpatia jinagani? Tu asiumu ni mtu. Nataka tumpe jina. Huyu ni nani? Eh? Kevo. Okay, mnapenda Kevo. Na huyu ni Brayo. Okay, huyu ni Kevo. Huyu ni Brayo. Mnanipata eh? Huyu ni Kevo. Huyu ni nani? I'm teaching you something to do here. Kevo ni mgonjwa. Brayo ni mgonjwa. Alafu unapokuja kuwaombea Unafika kwa kevu na mwambia kwa jina la Yesu Kristo Kwa mapigo ya Yesu Kristo ulipona Na tangaza uwa mzima na utembe Alafu kevu anasema Amen Pastor Nimeumia Nimeumia Hii uchungi mekua zaidi Usichoke kuniombea Nikumbuka kwa maombi kila wakati hata usiku What have I been doing? Na Hebrayo Na mwambia in the name of Jesus I speak healing to you you are healed in Jesus name. Alafu anasema amen. Pasa vile umeniombea na umekuja hapa mimi nimepona kwanza acha niamke. Acha niamke. Who among the two do you think will be healed? Brayo will be healed. Why? He received the word in his spirit. He exercised the word. He practiced the word. Therefore he stood by the revelation of the word he had. And therefore he is healed. He will remain sick until he die. But he will be walking in divine manifestation of healing. It's about how you behave. How you react to the word of God that comes and lands into your spirit. Healing is available. Miracles are available. Refuse to go down. Refuse to die poor. Refuse to call yourself defeated. You are not late. You are delaying yourself. Your miracle is waiting for you. Stand up and say, hey, I'm no longer that person you are calling. Tell your body. I've heard of that signal before. That headache you are trying to give me to me. I've heard that signal before. Headache, I do not belong to you. Listen to me in the name of Jesus. I am the heel of the Lord. I will not listen to you. Wake up and walk. Stop looking for sympathizers. 
Acha kutafuta watu wa kukuhurumia. Watu wa kukuhurumia wanasababisha shida yako ndogo inakuwa kubwa. Refuse to have sympathy with people around. Walk up and walk. Walk up the Bible says that to rise up and shine for your light has come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. You are a child of God. Exercise your faith. Walk up. I cannot pray for you and you continue sleeping. Na unaniambia pasa ile kuniombea. I'll tell you I will pray for you, I'll not pray for you. You are a discouragement to the one praying already. Mimi nakuomba na rudi kulala. You discourage me. I'll not pray. Ndakuambia I'm praying for you. There's one of my daughters that I'm testing out aja jina but aka hapa. Alikuwa unwell. Mama akasema twende kwa hospitali ya kudunge. Sasa twende hapo kutibu. Sema pastor vile ameomba mimi niko hapo twende nyumbani. Wakajaribu sana tunaenda nyumbani. I looked at that girl and said, yeah, this is the right faith that we need. Faith means you live what the word says. And you behave it. From today, put your hands in your pocket. Walk like a blessed man. Because that's who you are. Refuse to go down. Refuse to be given any other name by anybody. Walk around and say, what's happening, bro? We are blessed. Hey, but I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Kuna watu kama hana pesa anavaa nguo chafu nyenye meraruka ndio watu wamhurumie. I pray ukiweka hivyo watu wakunyime pesa kabisa. And the Bible listen to the Bible says, Bibi nasema aliye nazo anaongezewa na asiyekuwa nacho ananyang'anywa. Hata ile kidogo alikuwa nayo. Wanaongezea nani? Aliye nayo. And listen to me. You don't become to behave. You behave to become. What you want to be, start behaving now. Do you know why waswahili wanasema maskini akipata sijui nini inafanyika? Mna do you understand? Mnaelewa? Ni kwa nini? Your mind is not programmed. Sasa ukipata tu kidogo una wasiwasi hata ujui duka iko wapi, ujui posho mili iko wapi, ujui nini. Sasa na wasiwasi because you don't have start practicing faith and living faith. You can go even to car rooms, showrooms, look around the cars and say Father God, you created these things very beautiful for us to enjoy. One of these finds Jehovah, find this Jehovah. I want my very own. I want my, don't possess anyone. Usiende kwa mtu kuanza kupossess. Nikikupata leo uko hapo nje kwa gari yangu nasema in the name of Jesus I possess. I will sue you. You are planning to steal my car. Okay? So what do you need to do? Go to where they are selling cars. I start speaking, Lord, in the name of the Sadei. I, I, I don't know, Pastor Ben is not here. The Sadei, I used to take people to the airport. Every time missionaries are coming, guests are coming. Now peleka airport, nenda kwa chukua. And you see, uki peleka mtu airport, hata uonangi ndege. Una baki angatuku ni manyumba tu, naona mtu anaingia na potelea huko. So siku moja, tukia tunarudi, I remember we had another driver called by the name Benson. Nikaambia mungu, God. Let today be the last day ya kubakia kwa mlango nikienda airport. I don't kama hivyo sikuji airport. The next mission ambayo nilikuwa kwenda mtu kwa airport nilijificha wakaniacha. Si kutaka kwenda huko. They don't know what I what was after. Nikamwambia Mungu siendi tena huko. What happened? Nikamwambia Mungu nataka nikiingia na mimi niende huko na niende hivyo. And that's why how it started. So for flying or traveling is not a problem anymore. But you stay at home every day. There's a miracle until you change your geographical location, you never have them. Praying to go to Mari, I'm Zungu. Na unaishi rongai, utokangi, wale unakutana nao, ni watali wakipita hapo wakienda Masaimara. Wisdom is profitable to instruct. I want to finish. Amen. So what do you do last? Rest. Rest is the hardest thing people ever do. Rest means waiting for the result. After you have declared, now you need to wait. Kuna mtu anadhania Mungu ni ATM unafinya namba hivi unabonyeza unangoja zinatoka. That's not how God works. God works in his own parameter and calendar. Sometimes unajua siku moja kwa Mungu kwa mwanada kwa kwa, kwa Mungu ni miaka 1000. I'm not saying you are going to wait for a thousand years before you receive a miracle. But after you have prayed, learn to wait. Na kuwacha ni kuambia kitu kimoja, mungu na ya najua kucheza kama yeye. Akigundua weo na kuanga impatient. Anakukazia. Mamu itakuwa ngumu until when patient will be produced from you. Let me give you an example, last example. 
kuna pasta mmoja ambaye alikuwa anafanya kazi ni pasta na pia alikuwa anafanya nini anafanya kazi sasa alikuwa akisafiri kutoka state moja akienda nyingine tuseme alikuwa anatoka alikuwa anatoka sio Kimau anaenda mpaka Naivasha kufanya kazi kila siku na train kila siku na gari ya moshi anaenda sasa siku moja asubuhi akaamka akamwambia Mungu Mungu mimi nina shida shida yangu ni sijui kuvumilia sijui kungojea i'm not patient jehovah god give me the spirit of patience help me to be patient mungu akamwambia nimesikia maombi yako na nitakupa leo mungu akasema nini nitakupa leo unanipata asubuhi akamuka kama kawaida akaingia kwa gari ya moshi kuanza safari kufika katikati pale gari ya moshi karibika na ni katikati ya forest na huko kwa forest kunaanga barabara unaweza badilisha utoke uingie kwa gari nyingine kama ulipanda gari ya moshi ni hiyo jamaa akakaa mahali pale kwa giza uh, mahali pale kwa kwa bush wanajaribu kutengeneza gari ya moshi haitengenezi wanajaribu hakuna Wana, saa ya ofisi ikafika saa tatu nusu ikafika ye bado wako pale kwa forest inafika saa nne baada ya pale saa tano baada ya pale akaenda akaanza kuomba akasonga kwa kichaka kidogo akamwambia Mungu Mungu ona kazi ona anachelewa kufika kazini na kazi inaizaisha Mungu nisaidie saidie train ianze mbona inakaa hapa Mungu akamuuliza what did you pray in the morning akasema i pray to be patient akamwambia are you still patient or you are still in a hurry jamaa akaangalia Mungu akanyamaza akasema if you are training me i'll rest i'll be patient Mungu aliposikia kwamba I'll be patient, gari kaanza kufanya sasa, ikaanza kwenda. Some of you the reason why your miracles are delaying is because you are not patient to wait upon the Lord. God is not popcorn cooker. Anything you receive cheap, you lose it cheap. Wait upon the Lord. What do waiters do in a hotel? Waiters huwa wanafanya nini kwa hoteli? Kazi ya waiter ni nini? Ha? Huh? kazi ya waiter ni kufanya wait to serve I'm not getting you what do waiters do in hotels and restaurants they basically serve that's the work of waiters they serve now as you wait upon the lord do what waiters do you are waiting right do what waiters do what do waiters do they serve as you wait continue serving the lord nimemaliza Amen As you wait do what Na neno litaendelea Amen I understand there are people who are supposed to be baptized here today Can I see by the show of your hands wale wanaenda kubatizwa leo Can I see wow hata labda huko kuwa lakini unasikia wow 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 Hey, Pastor Jess, how many are they? How many are they, Pastor Jess? You are, you, you are tempting me. Wonderful. So, leo tunaenda kubatiza watu pale Multimedia University. Kuingiza kwa March. Kwa hivyo um, right up to we close the service. Tuta na wale ambao wanataka kushuhudia si ni kitu kizuri pia kushuhudia I pray you are, you are prepared your mind is ready your spirit is ready and some of you can even receive the holy spirit in water kule mnaongea kwa lugha mpya because you are prepared and you are ready amen so as we pray right now we shall be prepared alafu after that I hope mmebeba nguo za kubadilisha na kama una utaomba mtu mwingine nguo ya kubadilisha kisha baadaye tutaenda pale MMU what time are we supposed to be there nataka tumalize by exactly 2 pm 2 pm kwa Kiswahili ni saa 8 ama saa 2 saa 8 okay by saa 8 tutakuwa pale MMU labda huko umesikia labda hujakuwa around but you are not baptized you want to be baptized it's a very good experience amen labda ulipakwa tu maji ama ukanyunyuziwa maji ama ukapita chini ya bendera ama ukaruka moto hizo hizo zote they are all type of what we call baptism ama uli recite kuna wale wengine wanasoma tu maandiko fulani that's not baptism because baptism from the greek word is baptizo baptizo means a mash or sinking that's what baptizo means so we shall be heading there for baptism and uh, unahakikisha have a friend ambaye anakusindikiza kama 
unajua guardian yani anakushirikiza tu naenda na mtu mmoja ambaye ni kama get a friend here hapo nataka kujua kama una ishingi peke yako kama kama mosquito ama unakaa na watu get a friend somebody hata kama mjui you can become a friend somebody right now na utembee naye tukienda amen so tutakuwa tutaenda mahali pale for baptism i want to pray for us amen now bow down your head i want to pray with you in the name of jesus father in the name of the lord i thank you because of your children i thank you because of what we have heard thank you because of your word thank you thank you thank you baba ni asante your children are here some of them are going through issues that i can't be able to explain it all they are going through matters that lord they have been struggling for so long and in the name of the lord today is their day because god they have been hearing about you but today they are going home with their miracle i want you to pray for one thing that stubborn issue that has stayed for so long in your life in your situation or in your family only one thing that has been stubborn that's what i want to deal with today pray with me say lord jesus say louder lord jesus this situation in my life that has taken too long today i destroy it in the name of jesus and receive my miracle from that thing in the name of the lord open your mouth and just pray that one prayer alone just one prayer just pray that one prayer in the name of jesus every stubborn issue in my life every stubborn issue that has been taking so long every stubborn issue in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i destroy you i destroy you i destroy you in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus Father, I thank you because of your children. I thank you because of their situation. I speak a new beginning. The Lord, as you have received the working faith, they are receiving the working faith today. They are raising up on their feet. They are walking. And they are entering into their place of rest, into their destinies. In the mighty name of Jesus, I cast down every sickness. Kila magonjwa, kila udaifu, kila maradhi, kila maumivu. Na yangamiza katika jina la Yesu Christo. Na tangaza baraka za mungu. Na tangaza nguvu za mungu. Na tangaza ukuu wa Mungu na uwepo wa Mungu juu ya maisha yao katika jina la Yesu baba wala maana tazama katika mtandao those watching us from from out of the country and from the country and in the country via Facebook and via YouTube in the name of the Lord Jesus I decree your miracles I declare God's miracle everywhere in the name of Jesus miracles in your situation miracles in your family miracles in your marriage miracles in your career miracles in the life of your children miracles miracles everywhere in the name of Jesus receive it now receive it now receive it now receive it now in the name of the Lord Jesus receive in your beginning receive it today receive it today receive your miracles of faith receive your healing receive your miracle receive faith in the name of the Lord Jesus Father we thank you and we bless you in Jesus name we pray for those who are watching online you can subscribe to our youtube channel you can share this to a friend and this is going to be a blessing to you god bless you and see you again next time in the name of jesus in jesus mighty name we pray give jesus praise hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. i want to make a declaration by the word of the lord you have heard today by the word of the Lord you have heard today, you are saved.